Hey guys, welcome to first part of this cool tutorial in which I'll be showing you how to create this type of iTunes or iPod icon that you see on your iPhone. So let's begin. We're gonna go to File, New and type in Width at 300 and Height the same. And then we're gonna click OK. Now we should uh, go to edit and fill our background with black color by using by going to contents and scrolling down to black. Click OK. Then we're gonna lock this layer. And we might name it background or just BG for short. Then we're gonna go to new layer and we're gonna go to our rounded rectangle shape tool right here. We're gonna set the radius at 15 and we're gonna drag a perfect rectangle. You can do so by holding down shift and then we have our shape. So we, uh, now we're, we will enter our blending options of our shape by, by double clicking on it on our layer tab and we're gonna tick some blending options which include the gradient so now you should select some colors the left color should be a bit lighter and for this tutorial I'll be using let's see purple so we're gonna choose some purple and for the upper we should choose something darker but also not the same color and then we're gonna click OK so now we have this then we're gonna click control and click on our shape and that should select it then we're gonna go to new layer and we're gonna go to filter we're gonna go to noise, add noise Oops, sorry. We're gonna uh, first gonna go to Edit, Fill, and we're gonna use White and click OK. Then we're going to go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise, Amount 300%, uh, Distribution Gaussian, and please check Monochromatic, and click OK. Now we'll again go to Filter and we're gonna go to blur and we're gonna choose radial blur then blur method at zoom quality at best and amount at 90 percent and we're gonna click OK then we're gonna uh, lower down the opacity so we can see our colors to something like this and then we should let go then again go to this layer now you can deselect it, click Control D and now we're just gonna get rid of this center we're gonna do so by applying a layer mask and going to gradient choose radial gradient and go to black to white and we're gonna drag from the middle to the end of our to the end of our button then we're gonna go to new layer oops wrong button new layer and we're gonna add our shine right here so we're gonna go to control D uh, control and click on our shape again to select it and then we're gonna go to elliptical marquee tool and we're gonna make an ellipse while holding alt and shift and do something like this yeah it not, it's not that perfect but it doesn't matter be because we're rushing for this tutorial you can do it much better and we're gonna go to edit fill and fill it with white then we're gonna 
apply uh, then then we're gonna lower our opacity to somewhere around 50 you can choose your own opacity and then we can deselect it and we're gonna apply a layer mask and go to our gradient and we're gonna choose linear black to white okay and we're gonna drag from up here to down to here now that's too much so let's drag from quarter of our image to here yeah that's good so now this is the first part of this tutorial uh... click here to go to the next part thanks for watching